In my predictions for the year 5783, we discussed the mitzvah of Hakel. The source of this mitzvah is in this week's Torah portion, Vayelech. Hakel es ha'om ha'anoshim v'hanoshim v'hataf. Assemble the people, the men, the women, and the small children. Every single Jew had to go to Jerusalem for this Hakel gathering in the temple. Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah asked the following question. I understand why men and women must come to learn and to listen. But why do the infants come? And he answered his own question by stating that the reason for bringing the children is simply to give special reward to those who bring them. When the great sage Rabbi Yoshua heard this, he exclaimed, Lucky are you, our patriarch Abraham, to have a descendant such as Rabbi Lazar ben Azariah. And the question is asked, what did Rabbi Yeshua find so exciting about Rabbi Lazar's explanation? And what does it have to do with Avraham? If you think about it, this whole teaching doesn't even make sense. For if all of the adults are assembling in Jerusalem, obviously they must bring their young children. Because otherwise, who will care for them? Why does the Torah have to give us a mitzvah to bring the youngsters? As if there is even an option to leave them home alone. If you're going to take all of the adults to Jerusalem, of course the youth are coming along. There are no babysitters left to watch them. It is because of this question that Rabbi Yeshua deduced that Rabbi Lozer's question was not merely, why are they coming? But why did the Torah have to mention that they should be brought? The Talmud in Kiddushin, page 31a, states, that one who is commanded to perform a mitzvah and does it is greater than one who does it voluntarily. Godel mitzuva v'oisa, mimisha eni mitzuva v'oisa. The logic goes like this. Everyone enjoys the luxury of choosing to do what they want, when they want. Good people will certainly volunteer their free time to worthy causes. But the moment an outsider tells you that you must do a certain act, your natural reaction is pushed back to that idea, for they just trespassed into your freedom, into your personal decision-making space. Even if it's something you enjoy doing, and even if you were going to do it anyways, the moment it became a commandment, the nature of the deed changed. Therefore, Rabbi Elazar explained that the only reason the Torah mentions the bringing of the infants is in order to make it a command. Now the parents feel God mixing into their child care business. Now that is an opportunity to give special reward to the adults. When Rabbi Yeshua heard that from the mitzvah of Hakel, we learn that fulfilling a command is greater than voluntary performance, he became very excited because now he realized the justification for Avraham's not circumcising himself until the age of 99, although he had fulfilled every other mitzvah of the Torah. The reason was that Avraham wanted to be in the category of mitzvah v'osa, one who performs a mitzvah as a fulfillment of Hashem's command. Since circumcision can be performed only once, Avraham therefore waited for a direct command from God. And this applies to the mitzvah of Hakel this year as well. For everyone likes hanging out with friends. We don't need God to give us a mitzvah of Hakel. We had social gatherings last year and we will have them again next year. So what's the big deal about this year's inspirational Hakel gatherings? And the answer may very well be as down to earth as ever. The moment we are charged with a mission to gather friends and neighbors and motivate each other is the moment it becomes a difficult thing to do. But the great sage Rabbi Lazar already taught us that the reason for this difficulty is only in order to give us a very big special reward. Let us be wise and let's seize the moment to tap into this reservoir of blessing for us and our loved ones. I wish you a very good Shabbos and a Gemar Chasimah Tovah.